The early treatment centre is a new initiative in the South Eastern Trust which seeks to support patients who are at high risk of developing serious disease such as cancer, coronary heart disease and type 2 diabetes. To achieve long-term behaviour change, they will reduce their risks of developing these diseases in the first place. The early treatment centre also supports patients who already have disease to achieve lifestyle change that will have clinically significant outcomes on their own. On this short video you'll hear about two specific programmes that are delivered as part of the Early Treatment Centre, the Diabetes Prevention Programme and the Cardiovascular Disease Prevention Programme. There are also a number of other initiatives in development, such as prehab services for cancer patients, diabetes reversal and new pathways for children who are obese. Working with our team of assistant psychologists who are graduates in psychology and working here as health coaches, um, alongside some of the leading behavioural scientists in the country, um, offers us an opportunity to develop and implement the Diabetes Prevention Programme and the Cardiovascular Prevention Programme here locally. Also, uh, working alongside our medical colleagues um, in cardiology and diabetes helps us uh, to develop a programme uh, that offers real opportunity for people to impact their health in really effective ways. The opportunity for councils to work uh, collaboratively with uh, the health and social services trusts um, is important, certainly for the end users. Um, and for us to be able to link with the trust service, deliver uh, programs that work in partnership with the Diabetes Prevention Program and a number of other programs uh, on council facilities and with uh, council employees is a great opportunity to uh, enhance the health and well-being of the wider community and we think that this program along with uh, potentially others in the future are going to be benefit the wider community immensely. As a GP it has been great for patients to have this new support program. Previously when diagnosed with pre-diabetes there was no programme for the patients to avail of, whereas now with the new Diabetes Prevention Programme, there's a rigorous support programme in place, which is psychology led. I was referred to the uh, Diabetes Prevention Plan around about March 2019, following a blood test, which, uh, to be perfectly frank, uh, gave me a little bit of a scare, to say the least. I was Weighing well over 20 stone, maybe even up to 23 stone at the time, and uh, had already started on a plan of reducing my weight through a change of diet and exercise. But the diabetes uh, prevention plan, what I did find was it helped me so much in knowing what to eat, how much to exercise, little tips on how I could improve my exercise without actually realising I was doing anything sort of like carrying my own shopping bags, parking the car in the car park at the shops as far away as possible, walking extra distance. At the time I could probably only walk, uh, when I first started my exercise plan, I could only walk maybe a quarter of a mile if that and be absolutely shattered at the end of it. Following the, the program, I can now walk anything where between eight to 12 miles a day, quite happily with my dog and uh, quite often walk a lot further than I had originally intended. I eat an awful lot healthier. My 23 stone that I was at the start is now down to 13 stone. And uh, I just found the course so excellent. All in completion of the course, I can honestly say I've never felt healthier. Uh, and the course has, it's changed my life completely. Sadly, cardiovascular disease still affects too many of our community in Northern Ireland. While there have been great strides made in the treatment of heart attacks, we have not seen the advances that we would have expected at that stage in, in prevention. Through our chest pain clinic, we have access to pioneering CT technology 
uh, that allows us to visualize narrowings and blockages in patients' heart arteries many years before uh, a heart attack could develop. Using the latest evidence base and working with uh, leading behavioral scientists in University College London, we have uh, proposed the uh, cardiac prevention program and our hope that we can start to make an impact in, in improving heart health and reducing admissions to our hospitals with heart attacks. So we're delighted here in Cardiac Rehab to be able to offer our patients this new preventative program. We normally see our patients after that first cardiac event, so this is great to be able to capture this high-risk group of patients at this early stage to stop that first heart attack happening. So the patients that have came along to see the cardiac rehab nurse for their health assessment have all been really keen to get started on the program. They've all been really motivated to make these behavioural and lifestyle changes to reduce their risk of a future cardiac event and to improve their overall health long term. So if this program can stop these patients coming back to see us in a few years time with a heart attack then that can only be a good thing. We're very excited about the Early Treatment Centre and the South Eastern Trust because we think it's a key part of the health and social care system and helping us to support the wider health and well-being of the South Eastern population by intervening early as soon as we realise the patient is a high risk of developing disease.